I have some. Do you want these? Marcus is very loving and very affectionate. We were blessed with him, and he is on the autism spectrum. I'm Renee Dunn. Marcus, look. I'm Marcus's look. grandmother. Look. Car? You have a car? He likes playing by himself, and whenever you would sit down with him, he would kind of move away. It's not the game. And he is getting very, very frustrated not being able to communicate. Oh, Marcus. His grandmother watches him while his parents work. When I first started working with Marcus, he was not talking, not saying any words. He had lots of babbling. He wasn't very interested in playing with others. I'm Jenny Sharpless. I'm a speech language pathologist here at the Kennedy Krieger Center for Autism and Related Disorders. And the number one strategy we're going to work on today is just tuning in to what he's interested in and imitating him. So show me how you normally play at home. Okay, what well, the first thing we would do is we would take them out. Now, if he didn't immediately take something, then I'd give him something. There you go. Very good, Marcus. Very good. Great, so he was really good at that puzzle. Yes. But the one thing that I noticed is mm -hmm. that he's playing mm -hmm. and you're watching. Yes. I want you to be able to be his play partner. So mm -hmm. what was he doing with this puzzle? He was picking up each piece and putting it in. It. Yeah, so, so then you will take your turn and so do what? So let him do one and then I'll do one. Yes. Let me do. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna put one in. Two. Two? Now you put one in. Already the look of your play has changed. You were playing together. It looked like you were taking turns. It already looked more fun. One thing is we talked about not asking a lot of questions, not using a lot of um, generic type language, but looking at a toy and thinking about what's the most important vocabulary we can pick out from this toy. It's just looking at this simple puzzle, what are some vocabulary words that come to mind? Colors, mm -hmm. as opposed to shapes. Okay. Or if colors were too difficult, I would count, because he loves numbers. Mm -hmm. Also, we can think of the action words. We put in and we take out. You want to put it in? Which one? One, can I do one? Two, so one, two, go ahead. What number is that? Three. Three. As soon as we simplified her language, she joined him in play, he stuck with her longer, and he started saying words, which was amazing. Has he ever seen this toy before? No. So he's figuring out that the balls can go in the holes, so thinking about the imitate strategy we did with the puzzle, mm -hmm. what would you do to join in with his play? Now let me offer one suggestion. Come around and be face, more face to face with him. Okay. Maybe this side. So now. Already it changes the look of your play. It looks like you're playing with him rather than just watching him. True. So now I could take this part. So we think it has to be something so difficult and we have to have all this education about autism to work with them. Ready, set, go! Actually, I've learned here with Jenny that it's just the little simple things that you do and simplify the way you think about playing with them that really helps them the most. Can I have a card? So make sure you have your own. Because when you imitate him, you don't want to have to take his toy. Because it's not about turn taking, it's about really imitating. <laughs> car! What are you going to do now that you have your own car? I'm going to try to play along with him. Ready, set, go! Go! go. And look, he is enjoying this so much. You're getting such nice eye contact. Yeah! Mm -hmm. He's smiling at you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The next thing I want you to think about is your language. So we already know go is a word because he's saying it. Go! But what, what, other, what other words do you think, can you think about with this toy? 
um, car. Good. Renee, like lots of parents, want to teach their child something new. That's where we get the next part of the strategy, the expand part. But we can think about expanding on our language a little bit mm -hmm. and saying, uh, cargo or go car. So to hear him say we because he was excited or go because he knew it was time for the car to go down the ramp, it's, it's, it's wonderful. This bus does exactly what he likes to do. He likes to put things in or on. So we can show him this toy. So make sure your positioning is also on your mind. When you're in this type of position, he can make eye contact with you easier. Mm -hmm. He can share smiles with you easier. Off. Off. You know, especially in this era of technology, there's less emphasis on toys and just good old-fashioned play. Being in there and, 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 and taking my turn and it lets him have fun with it. Thank you. <laughs> Join in, do what they're doing, see what they're doing, and it, it, it definitely works. So now I can just play with him and he'll enjoy it, and we'll still be learning.